Babes, the other day I went down to Sephora again. I had the best time ever, like I always do at Sephora. I don't think I've ever had a bad time at Sephora, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I've never had a, no, I've never had a bad time at Sephora, never. And um, so I went the other day, I went down, I got my hands on everything. I had the best time just playing with all the colors, all the new stuff that's come out. And I did pick up a few things, so I couldn't wait to play with them and put together a look using the new goodies that I got. So let me show you what I got here. So some amazing things that I picked up, I mean I was beyond blown away, was the Natasha Denona Glow Stick. Oh my god, face glow stick. This is so unreal. I was literally in shock. I put it on. I'm not going to lie. I put it on and then it, it's pretty pricey. It's $48. So, and I do have something similar already. So I was like, you know what? Let me not get it. Let me use what I have. But then I actually purchased a few things. I went outside and I saw myself in the in my car mirror and I was like, oh, I was glowing so amazingly. Like nothing I had ever seen before. So I had to pick this up. I mean... Anything from Natasha Denona, oh my god, at the Sephora, they had all the palettes out, so I'm telling you babes, you just touch your finger to the shadows in the palette, and there's so much pigment, you can't believe your eyes. I know they're really expensive, I think, you know, for my birthday, uh, maybe I'll get like, I think it's the Star palette, and it's like $150, but it is so, oh my god, it's so gorgeous, truly. Truly, you can't believe your eyes like when you just just touch it and you look at your finger and you're like And then like I did with the other palette that I bought But you'll just touch it to your eye and you don't even have to do anything. There's, it's like a, it's so amazing So I picked up I went back and I did get the the face glow stick And I got the shade One light so I also did get this Anastasia lip palette which I'm in shock about because I never thought I would get this but there was just so many gorgeous shades and I and I was playing with it and I mixed together so many gorgeous lip looks it, I was like you know what let me get it because it really I swear babes but it looked different than what I have already I swear to god because <laughs> I try you know I try not to buy it if I have it already at home but I put together some lip combinations and I was blown away and I was like this is like nothing I have at home okay and then babes oh my god so I put together a lip in the store I, I bought it and I can't believe it but these lips last for hours they last so long but yet they're so creamy they feel like a lipstick but they last and last and last so I wasn't expecting that I was pretty much just buying it for the pigmentation for the colors but when I was wearing it, I was like, oh my god, it lasted four hours and it feels creamy, it feels amazing. So I was blown, truly blown away. But today I was just feeling very full and it's a little bit cool in the air. So I was feeling like a little bit full. I love the fall. The fall is my favorite time of year. It's when my anniversary is. That's why I picked my wedding day in the fall because... The fall is my favorite. I just love the fall, the smell in the air, the, the way the air feels. So I was inspired today to kind of put together a fall, a cozy fall look. Cozy, I love being cozy, right? So I put some orange shades on my eyes. And then I couldn't help but reach for this shade in the Anastasia palette, which is very dark, but... Uh, it has a purplish to it, uh, a cherry tone to it, so it also really reminds me of those fall colors that I love so much, purples and oranges, um, and just that cozy vibe that the fall, you know, I just love that. So that's what I did today, but I can't wait, I can't wait to play with more of these, oh, so exciting guys, you know. <laughs> For us makeup lovers so babes if you'd like to see a quick uh, tutorial how I put together these eyes so if you'd like to see how I put together this fall inspired look then just keep watching so the first shade that I started with is transition from my violet Voss palette and I'm just taking a large fluffy brush and placing that in my upper crease area I've already primed my eyes with MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I also set that with 
some translucent powder so now I'm going in with innocent from my Tarte Pro Amazonian clay palette using the same brush just to deepen up that transition color a bit so we could get it nice and warm and I'm just working it all over my eyes so now I'm going in with charm from my Jeffree Star androgyny palette and I'm just taking a smaller fluffy brush now this is a Mac 217 but this is just a smaller type of fluffy brush a little bit stiffer and now I'm taking a pencil type brush and I'm just putting that same shade charm on my lower lash line and now I'm using my cake and bake sponge that I just picked up also from Sephora and I just love this sponge so much it really has made a huge difference in setting my under eyes I can't believe how much I love it actually it makes a huge for me it makes a huge difference so now I'm going in with whimsy from my Tarte palette and I'm taking this new brush that I just got from Urban Decay and it's a crease brush but it's hard to describe but it's very firm and it really hugs your crease your lower crease it just hugs it so well I am obsessed with this brush so I had to get it <laughs> and it, I don't know how to describe it babes but it's so amazing the way it really distributes the color so beautifully to your crease and it just really hugs onto your crease so it's it's a it's a fluffy brush but it's very stiff I guess so it's amazing now I'm taking the shade that was hashtag and now I'm going over that with the charmed again and now I'm putting some charm from Jeffree Star on my lid with just a packing brush and now I'm going in with fetish from Jeffree Star on a very thin it's I would describe it as like a crease brush except it's very thin this is from Hakuhodo but a comparable one would be a Morphe 441 similar type of brush like that a very thin fluffy brush and it really helps you to work your crease and deposit the colors beautifully so now I'm going back in with my fluffy brush now just to blend out that darker shade so now I'm taking a little bit of concealer and on a very very small brush this is a concealer brush and I'm just working it into my lid area and I'm pulling it out towards the outer V of my eye. So now I'm taking some MAC Smolder and I put that on my lower lash line and then I'm going over that with Fetish from the Jeffree Star palette. And now I'm placing some gel liner on my lower lash line and then I also put it on my upper lashes and I just love the effect that gel liner makes but I will go over that with I will also go over that with liquid liner later on but I just love the look of it it just makes a really pretty look so now I'm going over it again this is basically for my wing now I'll use the liquid liner and I just go over my whole eye now with it all the way to my tear duct area I just love the way that looks for a dramatic eye And this is my Vladi Liquid Liner Winged Woman. I absolutely love this. It's basically drugstore price. I got it at Ulta and it's about $7. It's vegan, cruelty free. And I just really love the Lottie line. So now I'm placing my Arda lashes onto my lashes and I like to place them let them sit for a few minutes and then I'll go in with my tweezers and just press them into my natural lashes but you just want to leave them there some for a few minutes so they get nice and tacky so now I'm going in with my Anastasia contour palette and I use the medium palette and then I contour my nose and now I'm going in with the Natasha Denona shimmer for your face and I am so obsessed with this it doesn't really show up that dramatic maybe on camera it's more of a natural glow but it's just absolutely gorgeous in real life and I'm obsessed with it <laughs> so now I'm taking my Anastasia 
lip palette in the shade 13 which is just a gorgeous dark cherry shade and I'm obsessed with it and it, the palette does come with this really nice lip brush so I'm just placing that shade all over my lips with their brush it's so pigmented and it also lasts an amazingly long time so I'm obsessed with this palette so now I'm just taking a very small brush and cleaning up the edges So babes, this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed watching my fall inspired makeup tutorial, my eyeshadow and lip combination that is just really fall vibes, that's how I feel. Just really cozy and fall. So babes, let me know if you like this look, any looks that you would like to see. I would love to put them together. Um, let me know what you're loving for the fall colors and makeup and um, would you spend so much for Natasha Denona makeup? I think it's worth it. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a huge splurge, but it's really worth it. I love it so much. And I just love how the highlighter gives like a wet look. It's, it's just a wet and it looks glowing and I just love it so much. So I love this Natasha Denona face glow stick. So, so thank you babe so much for watching. I hope you're all doing good. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe. I would really appreciate it and we have so many amazing giveaways so it's a lot of fun opening a Lego Chetty uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> so I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!